Happy Monday, Kipsters. Now that we've had practice counting by tens and ones and counting up to 120, we are ready to now start counting objects up to 120. How many cubes are in this stick that you see on the screen? There are 10 cubes. I can also call this a group of 10 or a 10 stick. We are going to see a lot of groups of 10 today, and that just means that there are 10 objects in that group of 10. When I have a lot of objects to count, it's easier if they are in groups of 10, meaning there are 10 objects in that group. So I can just count by tens because imagine how long it would take us to count all of these individual cubes if we sat here and counted one, two, three, four, getting through all of these cubes. What we're going to do is count by tens. So count with me. We're going to start with the first 10 stick, and you can also point to the screen just like I will. We'll say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now that we got to those two extra cubes that are there, if I said 110, would that be right? Nope, because I no longer see any more 10 sticks. So with those two extra cubes, I now have to start counting by ones. So we left off at 100, and now we can say 101, 102. There are 102 cubes on the screen. Just like we did, we are going to also count these objects by 10. So that it can go so much faster than having to count all by ones. So let's start by counting the very first little bag that you see and we'll keep going all the way until we get to the extra ones. So let's start with the first one. 10, 20, 30, 40. And now we can go to the next row. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And now we have only those little extra ones there. And remember, because we no longer have another group of 10, just loose ones, we can start counting by one. So we left off at 90. Now let's see if we can count all these ones. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. We have 98 of those beads. And how many groups of 10 are in this picture? There were nine groups of 10. All those bags that you see there. And how many little extra ones were we able to count? We counted eight ones. It looks like we have more objects here. Let's see if we can count all of them. Just like before, point to the very first little picture that you see, the little jar, and we're gonna count by tens first. So let's start. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Next row, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now if you look at those little marbles that are there, we can't continue counting by tens anymore because we only now have just those ones. So we left off at 100, and now we can count by ones. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. So we got to 108. And how many tens are in 108? Think about how many jars of 10 we counted. We counted 10 jars of 10. And how many extra ones do we have to count at the end? We counted eight ones. Let's start counting this picture. We're gonna count by tens again. And then we'll count those extra ones that we see at the end when counting by ones. So let's start with the first bundle of 10. Let's do the first one, 10, and then let's keep going, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's do the next row, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And our last row, in our last bundle of 10, 110. And now if we look at those sticks that are there, the loose ones that are not together, those are our ones. So we can't continue counting by tens. So we left off at 110. Let's count by ones now. 111, 112, 113, 114, 115. Let's move to that last set, 116, 117, 118. How many sticks are there? 118 sticks. How many tens are there? Look at the picture for help. Hmm, how many tens? 
there were 11 groups of 10. And how many ones or how many of those sticks were all by themselves, not in a bundle of 10? Eight, one. That was a really big number that we got to. We almost got to 120. And I think we can definitely count all of these crayons that we see on the screen. So we're going to start with the first box, also counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We're not done. Let's go to the second row. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Do you see any more bundles of 10? I don't. So now we can start counting our ones. Those are the little loose crayons that you see that are not in a box of 10. We left off at 100, so now we can start counting by ones. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. We got to 105. How many groups of 10 did we count? Look at the boxes. How many boxes of 10 are there? There were 10 boxes of 10. And how many loose ones were not in a box of 10? There were five ones. All right, Kipsters, let's see if in this problem we will get all the way up to 120. I see that we have our group of 10, so we can start counting by tens. Let's start with the very first 10 stick. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And now let's count the ones in the bottom. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I'm looking at the other two cubes that are there. Can I start counting by ones now? No, because those are also a group of 10. So we first counted 100 cubes, and now we're going to count those two 10 sticks that are left. So we can say 110, 120. There are 120 cubes on the screen. How many groups of 10 did we count? Look at how many 10 sticks there are. We count all the 10 sticks. There are 12 groups of 10. Did we have any loose ones? Did we have to start counting by ones? We didn't, so we have zero ones. For your exit ticket, see if you can count all of these cubes by tens, and then see if you have to have any ones that you have to start counting by. All right, Kipsters, I'll see you tomorrow.